regret your chosen career? I wouldn't say I regret. Even though I've always wanted to become an actress. Though I'm a very shy person. But when my dad said I was going to medical school in the UK, I was excited. You know, leaving the country for the first time was a very big deal to me then. You know, sending them both so for their studies abroad. Back then, I was, I was very jealous, and that's the truth. But now, I think it's making sense. Now I see the reason they were asked to travel. They want them to bond, by all means. Mm. It's okay. Interesting. I see. Your dad and some dad had everything figured out in their head. Yes, you are right. Yeah. You're right. You know, my dad and Sam's dad were very close. Best of friends. Oh. Best of friends turned brothers. Okay, my father told me a lot, like, when they were together, how they leaned on each other for help. Looking at being orphans and they were from poor family. They were the first born. They had a lot of responsibility. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting family. <laughs> Their stories are inspiring. From bus conductors to CEO of transport companies. <laughs> wow, nice one. <laughs> How did you know they were bus conductors? <laughs> you think I'm your mate? Besides, your families are quite famous. Huh? Who no no na? Gogo even sabi on herself. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's go inside. I've been waiting for you. I'm so sorry. Yes, before I forget, Mirabel told me what happened. Oh, that. Yeah, she's really sorry. Sam, please, I need you to forgive her. And she promised to return back the money. I mean, every penny she collected from you. Please. Look, I, I don't have problem with Mirabel. I'm cool with her. I don't need the money again. Really? That's nice of you. Sure. Sam studied business management in school. He didn't stay as much as I did, but he had to stay back till I was done from school. Auntie Kate made sure that we lacked nothing. Can we take a walk? Sure. Okay. Hey, 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 not you. Calm down. Uh -uh. This is a lady's thing. Whether it be a lady's thing or a man's thing, at the end of the day, when the book comes out, I'll still read everything. See then, shall we? <laughs> Excuse me. Why they were with me in the UK? They were like a brother and a sister. There was nothing intimate. Until they finished their studies and returned back to Nigeria. <laughs> Even when I came back last year for that burial, I didn't realize they were in a relationship. Only for them to be getting married this year. Ah. <sighs> that was what the two fathers wanted. That was what they ever wanted. Mm. May their souls continue to rest in perfect peace. Amen. I just want to see that they are happy wherever they are. The desires of their fathers was to see that mm. two of them got married. Yes, that was their held, heartfelt desire. Why can't we grant it to them? Why? We are not God. We are not God. And we cannot be God. 
Please accept the truth. We are not God. Ah. Oh, this is this is tough. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is really, really hard to accept. This was their desire. Desire of the two fathers. It's okay now. I'm sorry. Ah. Sharon, please stay with me. I cherish this moment between us. I almost forgot all I've gone through today. Thank you very much. Sharon, you are beautiful. Was there any occasion you two? No, 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 no. Nothing like that ever happened. Like I said before, we we're just siblings. Not even once did we think of something like that. And what was your reaction when you found out your parents' intentions? When we returned from the UK, it became clear to me what both our parents wanted. I was pained. Knowing fully well that I had spent all these years in the UK studying for a course that I had no passion for. A psychiatrist. Sam's psychiatrist. Just to become his behavioral therapist. I was upset because of his PBA. Pseudo Bopa effect. You know a disappropriate, continuous laughter. So you need to calm down and answer me, okay? Um, was meeting James made you realize you weren't in love with Sam? Yes. I met James a few years back on Facebook. We we're just online friends, nothing else. But not until I returned to Nigeria. We decided to meet, we went on a date, and that was it. So why did you continue the relationship with Sam, knowing fully well you weren't in love with him? It was never a relationship. Never. I didn't want all of this. In fact, when I returned from the UK, I avoided him. Well, not until the accident occurred. It took both his parents and my dad. Sam was alone because he's the only child. So my mom told him to move in with us, which he did. I didn't have a choice. I became close to him again and that's what led to this. It's okay. I think I understand now. Let's go. The silence is awkward. Can somebody please say something? Good afternoon, everyone. Mom, what is going on? Any news? Nothing yet. 
except for the fact that this, this rubbish Sharon wants to make things messier than it is already. What did she do? We saw her kissing Sam. What? Not again, Sharon. What? Like, it is not the first time. You know, during Sam's birthday party two years ago, it happens that we were all high, we were drunk, and uh, to cut the whole long story short, they did it. Oh, they did what? Emma, are you dead? They did what? Ask me, what did they do? Uh, Emma, please, uh, it is not something uh, to panic. Uh, Vera knows about it. You see, when I got to know about it, it was a mixed feeling. I wasn't angry, neither was I happy. We decided to keep it to ourselves. It was just me, my other brother, and our close friends that knew. But they blamed Sharon. They claimed she took advantage of his condition, but I disagree. Yes, Sam is a man, and it has nothing to do with his condition. And he knows exactly what he did with Sharon. Besides, I think Sharon really likes him. Hmm. What an interesting story. You see, Vera, your story is a case of love or compassion. You just have to choose one. But for now, I'm going to add you up on WhatsApp just in case I need any other information. All right? Okay. Miss Holy, thank you. You're welcome. Any day, anytime, I'm available. Thank you. Love to give It's all about what you can give mm. What you Finally, you guys are here. See, let me tell you something. Eh? When the book comes out, I'm going to be the first to preview it Excuse because me? I don't want to get lost. Okay. That, okay. That is, you will be able to recognize the masterpiece when I'm done. I totally forgot for a second that I was talking to the one and only, the immutable, the uncopyable, the genius. One and only, Miss Woody! <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> Please, can I make a call? Oh, sure. Thank you. Yeah. So, I was just wondering about she, the other time that I was talking to um, my cousin, uh, Shadju, the way they behave is rather funny. I wonder, next time they come to my house, I'm not going to let them in. Why? Eight all of my food the last time they came around. They're gonna stay out. Like you don't know me. Like you don't know me. When that cat comes, they're not gonna step in my house at all. I'm telling you. No wonder. No wonder. No wonder. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you were so much in a hurry to announce the disappearance of Vera. So what were you thinking? <sighs> what were you thinking? You were thinking that by announcing Vera's disappearance, Sammy here will tell you good and fine. Sharon, why not you just come to the church? Let's get married immediately. Was that what you were thinking? Was that what you were thinking, Aunt Sammy? Enough, enough, enough! We had sex. We were never drunk. I am very much aware of what happened that day. I have PPA. Ah. It's a condition characterized by an involuntary and uncontrollable reaction that is inappropriate with the situation. So get your facts right before I judge anyone and stop making me look like, like a psycho. What a story. Thank you. Vera just called. She's coming. She's coming? Yes. Okay. Um, Miss Woody, do you think I did the right thing? Mm, yes, in my opinion. Um, but even though you did the right thing at the wrong time, but hey, 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 it's fine. It's okay. I'm not here to judge you. No one is perfect, all right? Oh. Mm. Sharon, please, I need you here, please. I... Sorry, excuse me, my phone is ringing. What could that be? Mirabel. Mirabel. What does she want? Put it on speaker, put it on speaker. Okay. Hello, Mirabel. What's up? Is she back? Uh, not yet, but I hear she's coming. Mirabel, I'm here. I can hear you. Jeez! Sharon, you put me on speak out. Sam, I'm so sorry. I am so Mirabel, it, look, it's okay, okay? I'm sorry for leaving you stranded there. I, I was upset. It's not a problem. I am sorry too. I was just upset. I deserve it. I am coming over. All right, Mirabel. I will be here waiting. Bye. Uh. Sharon, please come inside, please. <laughs> Thank you. I call my sister to book down my flight ticket or oh, is the wedding not happening anytime soon um, we don't intend to rush things we don't intend to take things too slow either okay that's good at least your dad will come back home from abroad after all the years 
and that's if he won't insist for the wedding to take place in Los Angeles. Never. Unless, of course, McQueen wants it that way and then her king will allow it. <laughs> okay, guys. Can the king and his queen kindly go drop me off at the car wash where I packed my car? Is we back? Uh, shut up. Now I follow come out, have you? I don't even know why I asked you. I, I tell you, I beg no very sweet face. I mean, those food and everything they cook for. Why are you asking me? Do I look like a food vendor? I tell you, I don't see you, I don't call you, though. Know, you know, eh? Felix, I'm having a as you can see it. Please. Be quiet. Let me stay here and wait for V. Hey, Auntie Mimi, I'm sorry. Hey. Felix, please! Oh, I'm sorry. Hey. Uh, but uh, Auntie Vera, they don't know Please, go please! Please forgive me. It's okay. Please. It's okay. Sharon. It's okay. I'm sorry. Where is Vera? Where is my daughter? Where is Vera? Eh? Where is my daughter? Oh. Ah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I didn't... I didn't intend to embarrass you this way. I didn't... Trust me, I never planned to make all of this happen. I was just, you know, me trying to make our parents happy, making their wishes come true. That was why I did what I did. But you and I know this would never have worked. Look, if you know you didn't, why lead me on? Why did you allow me to invite family and friends?
was just me wanting our parents to be happy, making you happy. But I am not in love with you, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Really, I'm sorry about everything. I am. Well, I, I, I think it's better we break up as friends than a marriage. Thank you. <sighs> you know why? This wedding gown fits you perfectly. You know, Sharon did a perfect job. Yeah, talking about Sharon, I think I have to start all over again. What who? Sharon? Yeah, I, I feel something for her. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> Trust me, you don't have to be sorry about anything. If you feel something strong for her, then, Sam, go for it. At least for once, we're trying to do what makes us happy, and not our parents. I'm sorry. Thank you. Come here. Oh. This was going to be very difficult. Thank you for understanding. He's coming, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, friends for life, eh? Ah, uh, friends for life. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I have to. I have some explanations to do. I know. So let's go do it. <laughs> let's do this. All right. that is, he'll be fine. All my life I've always done what he wanted. And just this once, mom, I want to do me. What makes me happy. What I want. What is good for me. They say marriage is forever. And I don't want to make the biggest mistake of my life. Yes. I love Sam. But mom, I love him like a brother. I'm sorry I can't marry him. My heart belongs to someone else. My soul wants someone else. Mom, I beg you, please. Try and understand. I'm sorry, <laughs> Mom. <laughs> you two have my blessings. You have my blessings. Uh, Ma'am, I know you, that you don't like me a lot, and that's justifiable. Because all along you've thought I was the enemy, a, a distraction. But I promise you, I'm not an enemy. And that's why I'm here today, to make everything right, to make everything clear. And uh, in the light of that, I would just like to, um, I want to ask her to marry me. Don't go ahead. don't you think this is too soon? I'm just following my heart. I think you should follow yours too. That's right. You have my blessing. Go ahead. Yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> oh, I wow. Well, uh, well, there's this saying that says where uh, when you are somewhere, your heart belongs elsewhere. 
Me and Vera here, we've agreed that we are better off being friends than marriage. Ah, uh, well. Sharon. I have ignored you for long. And I'm sorry about that. I actually want to take this to the next level. And I would like everyone here to respect my wish. Sharon, will you be my wife? It's a beautiful thing. Love is indeed a beautiful thing. <laughs> I'm happy. It is a good thing that we all have gathered here to honor the dead. My brother, your husband, your father. Ah, that is wicked. But I don't think it should cost us our happiness. It should not cost our happiness. We should not fight. My brother. And his friend, they had a big dream together. May God bless their soul. But I don't know what to say, but I know life, we have to move on. I don't know what to say. Love okay. has conquered everything. Congratulations. Congratulations. I love love. I love love. I love love too. Actually, my watch loves you too. <laughs> <laughs>